take your 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 Purdue pom poms, put them away for a second. For the number one team in the country. Okay. Yes, put them away. And if I said to you, you could, you got to bet your entire uh, your house, right? Your your plush estate in Chicago uh, on one team: Houston, Alabama, or Purdue to go the deepest in March or to win it all. One of those three. Who are you taking? I don't feel good about any of those teams. <laughs> you got to pick somebody. I'm just telling you, I don't feel good you about any of them. You have to pick somebody. Houston, Alabama, or Purdue? Yes. Well, those are the top three, aren't they? I, I mean, if you're, yeah, are you picking sure. somebody else? No, no. I don't feel good about any team. Like, it's not a year. But those are your top like three, are they not? Carolina. Yeah, they are. They okay. Are. I mean, you want to put in a, a writing candidate, be my guest. You want to throw UCLA or somebody like that? Or maybe I'll put in your favorite Tennessee Volunteers, yeah. the way that the fans were all responding to you on Twitter. Yes, yes. I was right. Um, I don't know. I hate doing these types of things. I don't feel good about any of them. I really hey, don't. I'm not. I'm not. We're not ending this podcast till you pick. We're just, I'm going to filibuster. We'll be on here for. For 20 hours, see if I can break you. Break into the Twizzlers and go through them. I'll I'll start crushing Twizzlers. I'll start reading off the phone book. Um, I'll go first. I'll go first. How's that? I'll take you off the hook here for for the first one. I'm going Houston. I'm going Houston. Kind of who I was thinking, too. Older guards, Rob. Older guards, um, you know, Marcus Sasser, Shed has been there before. You know, okay. they went deep last year with Jamal Shetty. He doesn't have the year we thought he would. Jamal Mark, big, big guard. Uh, you've got a lottery pick in Jarris Walker, and you've got a hell of a coach. Again, Purdue's got a hell of a coach, too. So does Alabama. I think Nate Oates is terrific. But Kelvin's just done it for so long. Um, and I think he's got all the pieces, and he's got bigs that know their role. Yeah. No, that's totally fair. Go ahead. I'm going to go – you know, I'm going to go Purdue. They okay. got the, they've got the most dominant player in the country, and I I just think that they're you don't worry they're, about they're, them. You you really don't worry about no. Them I things. worry about all three of these teams. That's okay. why this exercise is stupid. <laughs> I don't feel good about <laughs> picking any of them. You know, yeah, I, I look at the the Bama loss to Oklahoma, and it's like, well, how does that happen? You know, Oklahoma hasn't had a good year. How did they lose a game? And look, it's a long season. You have off nights with the way that they shoot. And the pace that they play at, you're going to have nights where you're throwing balls off the wall and you're you're missing threes, right? Yep. Like that. Brandon Miller is as high end of a talent as we have in college basketball. Hey, what uh, I'll say too, I worry well, about Purdue's freshman guards in the NCAA tournament. I worry about their guards, and that's not because they haven't had a great year. It's because you haven't been through it. You haven't you haven't dealt with it. I worry about physical, athletic teams against Purdue's backcourt because you saw what Rutgers was able to do to them. Yep. For Houston, I sometimes worry about their offense. I think that they have a team that Fair. at times, they if they're not getting on the offensive glass, which they've kind of gone up and down on at times this year, their offense can can be a little rough. But I think Kelvin's an incredible coach, and I think that they understand their roles as well as any team in the country. They guard you. I don't feel good about any of them. <laughs> so that's what I'm – I picked Purdue because of Edie. Um, but yeah, of course I have concerns. Yeah, no, I think it's fair. I just think I have the fewest amount of questions when it comes to the Houston Cougars. That that's what I would say. Sure. Um all right. Um let, let's move on to a little Big Ten. Let's move on to Big Ten now because it's funny. We we've anointed Purdue is the team to beat, and they're going to win the Big Ten, I would think. Their, their schedule, as you said. Barring a collapse. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be hard to imagine. Um, is, to me, what Trace Jackson Davis has done is is incredible lately. Like, I don't know if we any of us saw this coming, Rob. We knew he was going to be a good player. He ha- he now knows he's the best player on the floor almost every time he steps on. and And he's doing everything now. Right, he rebounds. He takes the ball up. He can face you up, which we knew. He can really pass. That's been that's the biggest the development. Yes. Where I think, yep, you know, he's doing a nice job when they get him in space of driving bigs and whatnot. But I, the passing is what has really impressed me, and and yeah. made he's made a big jump in that regard. Number one is Indiana. If they get X back, 
And I think he could come back for the Purdue game. We'll see. I think he can, which gives him like three games in the regular season, then maybe a game or, you know, who knows how many games of the Big Ten tournament, couple hopefully. So he gets four or five games under his belt before the NCAA tournament. How how far can this Indiana team go? No, I think that they can be a, they can be a second weekend team if if they get Xavier Johnson back and he gets back into the fold. And I think if you're there, then you certainly have the ability to to win a couple games and end up as a dark horse to get to the Final Four. I, I think with Trace Jackson Davis, he's that talented. Um, you know their their defense kind of slips some. I think with him, you you get him back and that can help you especially with quick guards they, right. they like against Jameer Young, they really struggled to keep him out of the paint, but no, I, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to get to the second week in the NCAA tournament. If they get healthy and they're playing the way that they've played. Um, I, I think that they, you look at their last two wins, even though Rutgers, Milwaukee mags, a big loss for them still that they've been the, the second best team in the big 10, I think for most of this season. So to beat Purdue and Rutgers back to back home games. Now the question for them is, can they travel with this? Can they keep this going? And they've got a game at Michigan Saturday and Northwestern Wednesday. It is a massive prove it week for them on the road. I know they're good at Assembly Hall. Can they take this on? And if they if they can take it on the road, then I I will be a believer that they really can make make a run like that in the NCAA tournament. Well, I mean, listen, they got that huge one a couple of weeks ago in Champaign, right? That was a huge road win for that team. But you're right, so, like. They have such a big home court advantage that sometimes, again... Well, yeah. the thing about Penn State away, doors yeah. blown off. Yeah. Maryland away, score 55 points. Yeah, Kansas away, doors blown Like, they... And the Illinois win was a good one, for sure. Um, Minnesota didn't play well, one by four. Right. Minnesota right. is the walking wounded currently. Yeah. 